All right, guys, we're in the next match. Um, we are here on the play with a no lander and not anything good. So we're going to go ahead and mulligan this. Let's see, what do we got here? Um, I think this... I think this is keepable. We have two threats with Death Shadow. We have a little bit of disruption with Cabal Therapy, and the fact that we're on the play means that we might be able to snag something. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And I'll take the second Cabal Therapy too, because the second one's a lot better than, than the first. So um, it's a few days after the last match that I recorded. Um... All right, so we're against Burn. This is a pretty bad matchup for us, especially with um, with this hand. Yep. So our gut shot is going to do almost nothing, and we might even want to not cast it. So we're going to go ahead and draw Cabal Therapy, and I think we're actually going to fetch for Underground Sea here. And we're we'll gonna go ahead and name. Let's just name Lightning Bolt. Alright, no Lightning Bolt, but we got we got a price of progress, an Eidolon, and another Goblin Guide. Alright, so I've played this matchup a decent amount with this deck, and it is pretty hard for us. Um in with modern Death Shadow decks versus modern burn, I feel like it's a little bit different because you can I don't know I feel like I've won a lot of games with modern death shadow decks where they try and like burn us out and then our death shadows are just huge and then we just kill them on the backswing but I don't know I think just because there's less interaction in legacy I can't get rid of threats like this um, interestingly we can play a death shadow this turn um, I think we're going to hold off, though. Ooh. Okay. All right. New game plan. All right. New game plan. So, we can gut shot them and take two and take four. So, we'll be at 11. Then we'll be at nine. Then we'll be at seven. And they have a price of progress in their hands, which won't kill us. So, uh, they need one bolt effect. So basically, what I'm thinking is that we can, we can get a shadow, a um, triple phoenix right now with gutshot, dark ritual, and buried alive. I feel like. It's really risky. Basically, it'll bring us down to effectively three. But Price of Progress won't kill us. Um, and so they need to have one other burn spell. But this matchup is like so bad for us that I think that's the only way we're going to win. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Let me just double check my math here. I'm, I've already committed. Yeah, that's correct. All right. So they need to have it next turn. Price of progress does not do it. And we are at three, effectively. And we can kill them the next turn. So this obviously seems really risky. But given our uh, given our hand, I think this is the only way we would win. So I'm just going to play to my outs here. And by play to my outs, I mean play everything I have in my hand that I can possibly play. All right. Do they have it? I mean, being able to beat Burn on the play is definitely nothing to, to scoff at, but if we lose, it's totally understandable, you know? They drew two cards that we don't know about, and one of them needs to be a, a bolt effect. 
Okay. Yep. Oh wait, they can they can goblin guide and then price of progress. I guess so I guess that I guess that was a total misplay then. Yeah. Yep, all right. Well, that was a mistake on my part. So we're going to take two. Yep, all right. My math was incorrect there. Um, I guess the, the thing that we could have done there then is just attack with, with one, with two phoenixes. That's the other thing we could have done. Um, all right, so against burn, um... I feel like our stre our sideboard is pretty bad against burn. Um, I'm also like not really sure what to do with the death shadows because like they're good, but I feel like they could also be pretty bad. I feel like discard is probably pretty good because if we can hit two burn spells, we'll be in a good spot. Um, I don't really like toxic deluge, or do I? I don't know. Hmm. Man, um, maybe we just put in one him and then take out a Phoenix, because Phoenix, Phoenix is like extra dead in our deck, and I don't really know anything else that we want to like actually bring in. Um, as I said, I've done this a few times, and this is a pretty bad matchup for us. Like surgicals, sure, but like, no, <laughs> that's really bad. I'm I'm just trying to list out things that like actually would be playable like bitter blossom, no, <laughs> ratchet bomb, maybe, but like the only thing that that would hit is goblin guides. Uh, yeah, the only like questionable one to toxic deluge, and the only reason I'm thinking about it is because of the situation we were just in, where getting to hit three of their guys is pretty good for two life. But like they probably would have gotten a hit in with their guys anyway, so. We're kind of, yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm just going to run it back like this. Okay. Um, so. We can go turn one brainstorm. And if we draw into... What? If we draw into a land and buried alive, then we win. So I'll keep this. We also have some things too where we can go like Dark Ritual to him to Turok and stuff like that. Uh, and I think I'm going to be fetching for an Underground Sea again when, when that does happen. Like there is, being on the play, there's some warrant to taking a little bit of damage so you can play your Death Shadow earlier. But because we have two dazes, we're going to be... Alright, so um, I'm going to fetch and grab an underground sea. And I'm going to brainstorm. So we have gut shot, and then we have another brainstorm and daze. Okay, so let's put back gut shot and brainstorm. And then I'm just going to go ahead and daze this because we have so many of them. we have It's a very real possibility that we end up going um, Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual him. <clears throat> Maybe with a Death Shadow too. Alright, I'm going to main phase Brainstorm here because I want to hit a land. All right, no land. And that is not great for us. Um, I guess I'll just throw back, I don't know, Pyromancer and then Cabal Therapy. Sure. Well, this is not a great spot for us. We are in rough shape. We do have the, the dazes, which is good. And... 
when we eventually get a second land, we can possibly him to Turok, but this is a pretty rough match. Sure, you can have that one. <clears throat> and we'll probably end up dazing the next one if he has a second bolt effect. He does not. Okay. Well, sure. So we can go ahead and Cabal Therapy here. And I'm going to do it for Price of Progress. I feel like that's probably pretty likely to be in his hands. Hmm. No. It's not. All right. We got Fairy Surgical. Okay. So we like pretty much have to be in the Death Shadow plan then. I guess there's a possibility of us. Ah, uh, no, not really. If we get like another Cabal Therapy, we might be able to get stuff out of their hand. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and daze the bolt. And he was dumb and did it during my main phase. Um, so I got to replay my land too. I guess there's a possibility of us going him... Uh, not going to copy. Alright, so that's his last burn spell that he had from what we saw. And the question is, do I want to take it? I'm going to say yes. And I'm not going to copy. I think we kind of have to be on the Death Shadow plan now. It'll be a 3-3. And so we're going to draw Young Pyromancer. Um, and we can go Dark Ritual, him, and Death Shadow. Which is not the best plan, but is a plan. So let's go ahead and go Dark Ritual. Let's go him. Sure. Okay, so they have Surgical in hand, and that is it. So we can go ahead and play Death Shadow now. So at 10, with a daze up to, and it's not a shock land that we have, um, this is a pretty good spot to be in. All right, what are they going to Surgical? What are they going to Surgical? Dark Ritual? Um, okay. Sure. Like I said, we're kind of off that game plan now anyway. Um, not only because of the fact that this was in their hands, but, you know, we just spent our resources with Dark Ritual and whatever to uh, get out the Death Shadow. So now we're in a good spot because if they... If they burn us, our Death Shadow gets bigger and just speeds up their own clock. And we also have Gut Shot, too. So if they try and Lightning Bolt it to just save themselves, which is a terrible spot to be in as burn, that they can just, that they're trying to remove a creature and it doesn't work. Um, anyway, but if they do that, we, we can Gut Shot in response and make it bigger. But like if you're on if you're on burn and you're trying to bolt a creature, you're not you're you're probably not gonna be winning that match. So these are gone. He just passes. Good for us. We have a second gut shot. So we can actually can we kill him, actually? Alright, so we're gonna take two. Okay, we can't kill him yet. We can't kill him yet. We can kill him next turn. Because we can do... 
six, eight damage to ourselves, which will bring our death shadow up to 11. So we can, we can do that next turn, and we also will be able to kind of do it safely because we can... Well, we'll see. We can start with Thoughtseize and, and see what happens, but I think it'll be pretty safe. So basically we'll be able to Thoughtseize away whatever they have, take two damage. If in response they decide to burn us somehow, it either makes the Death Shadow bigger or... Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this is game. So let's go ahead and... Okay, they just have a mountain, so we can... Yes. And yes. And then swing for lethal. There we go. Easy peasy. So that's one way of doing it. Um, in my experience, that is usually not how that happens. <laughs> um, the death shadows end up like... Like, we're obviously not going to take them out, partially because there's nothing else to put in, but they're not as good as you would think. Um, I don't know. In my experience, this... Yeah. This matchup's hard for us. Um, I don't think I'm going to change anything. I think I'm just going to run it back. So now they're on the play, which is scary. And we have such a good hand, except for the fact that we only have three phoenixes and one's in our hand, so we actually don't have that good of a hand. Plus, there's no land, so we're going to mulligan that. Um, this is keepable. Um, sure, we can draw land. Alright. Not the best for us, but we will be drawing an extra card because of this. What are they mulligan to? They mulligan to six as well. Okay. All right. So what do we want to do? I'm going to start off... What am I going to start off with? I'm actually going to start off with Cabal Therapy for Eidolon. Because that will just, like, straight up kill us. And my caps lock key is on. Alright, no idle on. Three burn spells. That is definitely a few. Hmm. Another land? Nice. We probably won't be playing that land, but it means we're not going to be drawing it, which is good. Down to 15, and then... Sure. Suspending Rift Bolt. Suspending second Rift Bolt? No? Okay. Another gut shot. Okay. So let's ponder. Um, so days is kind of nice, but we already have the days and hmm. Is it worth it to? All right. Let's do this. I want to draw the days. Going to play the Bloodstained Mire. And so, like, I, I was just thinking I could technically kill this, but that does not seem worth it. So I'll just go ahead and pass. And we have double days up, and we have a land on top too, as if that really matters. Um, but we can at least get it from uh, from Goblin Guide. So we're at 12. I'm also really taking my time with um, 
these steps and not passing because because of what they might be doing. Mainly with goblin guide attacking and, and whatever. Alright, so we're gonna let this trigger resolve. Actually we're just gonna let we're just gonna let goblin guide attack. Sure. And so they have six points of burn in hand. Not a great spot for us to be in. All right, suspend Rift Bolt and pass turn. Okay. So let's just shuffle away and get a Watery Grave. All right, so let's play Ponder. Hmm. Can we do anything with that? No, I don't think so. I don't really know how we're going to be getting out of this, to be honest. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle. That was a really bad draw. So let's Braidsorb. Dark Ritual. Buried Alive. Did we just do it? Did we just... Did we just... <laughs> did we just miraculously stumble into this? That is okay with me. Alright, so we can put Phoenix back. We can fetch. For... So he's six, he has at least six points of burn in hand. That is something that we need to keep in mind. We can fetch for Badlands. We can play Dark Ritual. We can play Buried Alive. We have two islands with days. And we can get Phoenix, 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 sure. So how many do I want to attack with? I think I only want to attack with two. So if we attack with two, they're at 13. Hmm. All right. So they have... What do they have? All right. So they already played one Rift Bolt. They already played one Rift Bolt. So they can do eight. Well, they kind of can't do eight, actually. Because they can do three, and then they can do three during their next, their next upkeep. But they might not have another upkeep. And we have two dazes and gut shots to follow up. So this is actually a two-turn clock. So, all right. I think it's better to do this. I think it's better to just full swing. Uh, yeah. And then we'll just pass. Okay. What do you got? Okay. Well, we can daze that. And then we can daze the next one. Nice. Yeah, we did it. All right. All right. Good match. All right, guys. We're here in another match. Um, we are fortunate enough to be on the play here. And we have a one lander, but... We have a decent amount of action and disruption and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. We have the ability to... Oh, wait, we're on the draw. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. That was my mistake. Uh, I mean, it's still keepable anyway. Whoops. But yeah, we have some, some turn one disruption. If we get a free spell, then we can go for Phoenixes. 
Um, might be a little risky because they do have an island out, so we know they're playing blue and they can daze us. Um, ooh, but we do have ponder. Um, so what are we going to do here? So I think we're going to go for thought seize here. Next turn we can go ponder, and if we draw into a land, we can then play the land, go dark ritual, then bury to life. So I think that that's the plan. Um, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get a watery grave so that they think that we're just on, on blue, black shadow and we're playing the mirror. Wow. Okay. 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 So they can, they can mess with us next turn. They can do a decent amount of stuff. All right. So they have brainstorm, they have buried alive and dark ritual. Hmm. I have not played the mirror yet. <laughs> it's it's interesting. I don't I think I want to take buried alive. I'm kind of inclined to take dark dark ritual, but mm, uh, Man, what do we do here? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and actually take I'm going to take dark ritual. We can get buried alive next and if we take dark ritual, it it puts them off from uh, drawing anything else that they can play and go like Dark Ritual into something else. So they're going to go ahead and Thought Seize us. I'm guessing, yep. So they're going to go Thought Seize and I'm guessing they're going to take Buried Alive. That's what I would take anyway. As of yet, he doesn't... Well, he knows that we're playing something different than him because of the Water Grave. Yeah, so he goes ahead and takes Buried Alive. I think that's correct. So both of us are going to be playing a little bit more fair in this match. So he's on Esper. That's interesting. And he's probably going to name Cabal Therapy here. There's a chance he takes Ponder. Yeah, okay. So he takes Cabal Therapy. All right. So let's go ahead and Ponder. Ooh, into Hmm. Now the unfortunate thing is that we can't draw the land and the dark ritual. So, so the pyromancer does almost nothing for us. So that's going to go on bottom. I'm considering just shuffling this away. I think we have to because it it seems like it does a lot, but it really it really doesn't. Okay, well let's see. So if we if we get watery grave, and if we take damage, we can go death shadow, cabal therapy, dark ritual. I guess that's good enough. Sure. And then we'll we'll shock. Okay. So we're hoping that our opponent deals deals us a little bit of damage so that we can play our Death Shadow. So they're going to Brainstorm. I'm not sure if that was the correct play or not, but I don't know if... I, I think that the knowledge of what we're drawing here can allow us to play a little bit better than, um, than just drawing totally blind. All right, so they that's, that's our Thoughtseize. So this is what they had. And I believe that all of this is now, is now spent. Oh wait, no, they still have, I'm sorry, they still have Buried Alive. Right, okay, so they're still like live on their combo. Preordain, sure. Now if they go into Dark Ritual, we're, we're in trouble. Yeah, and they're going to go Buried Alive and then they're going to... Go ahead and triple Phoenix. Okay. So we're going to draw Buried Alive. They're going to hit us. But we have the benefit of being able to play Death Shadow. So this is actually totally winnable. Oh, wait. But we can't. Hmm. That's right. We have to Cabal Therapy... We have to go Cabal Therapy, and we're going to be drawing... All right, well, we have to do it, so let's go ahead and play 
Death Shadow. Let's Cabal Therapy. Sacrificing that guy. And let's let's name let's name Days. Okay, so they have a Cabal Therapy. So let's Dark Ritual and then Buried Alive. So this is interesting match. This is the first time I've played against Dark Light Phoenix. And now we need to be on the defensive. So we're just going to go ahead and pass. Our next draw is dead. Oh no, it's not because we just shuffled with Buried Alive. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we're definitely in a bad position. But if we draw, that's fine. What can we draw? Another Death Shadow would be really good. I'm mean, even thinking about what, are we, what we're going to be boarding in, too. All right, Brainstorm's a good start. Hmm. Well, we get a free Cabal Therapy, I guess. We don't want Thoughtseize. And I guess they only have Cabal Therapy, too. Well, let's just... Uh, do we want to play Ponder or Cabal Therapy? This is hard. Let's go Cabal Therapy and, and get rid of it. And we'll name... We'll name Cabal Therapy. Oh, it's buried alive. Okay. I was thinking that the, with the Cabal Therapy, they could get it back with the Phoenixes. So whatever we we end up playing with Ponder, they could, uh, like what? Sorry, whatever we ended up drawing with Ponder, they would be able to to get rid of it. So we're in sort of a standoff right now. But if they can go, do they have two Cabal Therapies? If they've won in the graveyard. They've won Cabal Therapy in the graveyard. So, and they have a barrier to life, so they might be able to get back. Okay. Sure. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. I don't know what your plan is, but I don't think that that is correct. All right, so let's go ahead and go into... Ponder. And the Death Shadow is a good draw. So let's put down this and this, not shuffle, and play Death Shadow. And pass turn. So next turn we can start beating down with Death Shadow. We're dead to, well, they need two removal spells actually now. Because they need to be able to deal with, if they just deal with one, then we can block, block, and then we take three. Wow, okay. Are we going to steal this? So, let's just swing with... What do we want to swing with? Let's swing with just Death Shadow. And if they triple block, then maybe we fetch, but they don't. Okay. Are we going to beat Grixis Phoenix with our build? Four cards in hand. That definitely is scary. Monastery Mentor. So we can swing with shadow again and they get they get a chump block. We have thought seize on the top. Cabal therapy. Oh right, okay. All right. Interesting. And they have the other one too, right? 
So they just did that for the extra blocker. Hmm. Well, okay, let's see. So they have one Phoenix in Graveyard that they could potentially get back. They used their Cabal Therapy. If they play one spell next turn, then we'll have a 2-2, two, two, a 2-3, two, and then another Chump Blocker. So what do we do here? Do we swing with... Do we swing with all the Phoenixes? Man, what do they have in their hands? They still have that... Oh, sorry, I'm the, like my commentary is really bad. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I know I'm tasting, oh, taking a lot of time. Just let me go. Sorry, thinking. All right, I swing with everything. They can block, block, and block. And then I'm dead to one spell. I'm going to start with Thoughtseize. Get rid of Buried Alive. Okay. So they have no spells in hand. But now we're at two. They need to block two. Otherwise they're dead. If they block two then we can't swing with the Death Shadow. So let's just attack with the Phoenixes and then hope that they don't draw a spell. And they have to block two. Okay. And then let's just hope they don't draw a spell. Did you do it? Did you draw a spell? Hey, awesome. All right, that was a great match. Oh, sorry, a great game. That was just, oh, that was just great uh, game one. Okay, okay. So what do we want to bring in? That's an interesting question. Um, so surgicals seem good. So does Toxic Deluge. I don't know if there's too much else we want to bring in, though. Um, I really haven't played against this deck very much. I think that the fourth Phoenix could become relevant. So I'm slightly hesitant to, to board it out. The gut shots. Okay, so they're probably going to be playing Pyromancer too. I'm kind of wary of taking out our, our threats. But maybe we take out one Buried Alive. Let's also take out, let's take out him. Uh, so, so this is hard. Okay, so him, if him hits two spells, it can just like put them off the combo. But it also can hit phoenixes, which is really bad. So I'm going to go with the safer thing and, and board it out. What else? Um, I also think maybe I'll just get rid of a... Thought sees. I think that the, the second cast with the Cabal Therapy is going to become relevant. So my opponent know that that was a great game one. Um, so this is not enough action. We're going we're gonna to mulligan in this. And I think this is keepable. And we'll leave Brainstorm on top, sure. So I have a feeling we're going to get turn one Thought Seized. No, no turn one Thought Seized. Okay. Well, we're going to do that to them. So, yeah. All right. Let's go with Watery Grave and Thought Seize. Obviously, we want to get red at some point, but I think this is more important for our, for our cantrips. All right, he's going to daze us. That's fine. Means we can, uh, we can get rid of that for now. So I really don't know much about what he's running because there's been a few different versions of this deck. I also, interestingly, even though I'm running this deck, I tried to sort of stay away from other versions too much because I, I wanted to sort of have a, a fresh, set of eye, <clears throat> fresh set of eyes looking at it. All right, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and brainstorm. 
Okay, so we have buried alive. This is going to become relevant. As will death shadow. Let's throw back buried alive and death shadow. And then let's ponder. Oh, perfect. This is like the perfect card to draw. All right, so we're going to put them back in the same order, but we'll draw days. I think we're in a pretty good position. We have some free spells and we can go for the like actual three mana buried alive too at some point. We're ahead of our opponent on lands now. I don't know what our opponent's hand is, but I think I think we should be okay. We also have Toxic Deluge in case they go for Phoenix as well. The uh the Esper version, this is interesting. That's right. I just I totally forgot about that while we were sideboarding. I was just I was too wrapped up in the Phoenixes, but the um the splash of white is is definitely something that's relevant here. All right, mentor. Yeah, this is worth this is worth dazing. Oh, they paid one. I'm an idiot. That was a huge misplay. Crap. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just do this. That may have been relevant. I mean, they may have wanted to do something else. We'll just pretend like that was the correct thing to do hit, uh, to do there. So Gutshot might become relevant for Monastery Mentor at some point. Like, if they don't cast any spells. Man, th this seems really good, though, actually. <laughs> this seems like just... My, my young Pyromancer seems so bad in comparison. Hmm. All right. Well, they're like almost certainly going to take Toxic Deluge here. I mean, they should. Yep, and they do. All right. Well, are they not going to attack? They know what we have in hand. And they don't attack. That's interesting. Okay, so we can go ahead and play Watery Grave. Hmm. I The question is, is it better to pass or to play Death Shadow here? So we can play Death Shadow as a 2-2 and get rid of one of the tokens and make a token for ourselves. But then we're basically off the Buried Alive plan. We have nothing in our graveyard that can help us with that. And they have four cards. They're also on white, so I feel like a sort they're probably playing Swords of Plowshares. I don't know if probably, but I don't know what their deck is. So I'm gonna pass. Because we're this is a problem, and I think the only way to beat it is with Phoenixes. So I think if we play Death Shadow, even though that's the better play this turn. It might make it seem like we're more ahead than than we ought to be. I mean, we're behind, but closer to being like at the the same place as our opponent. Um, but I think that what I'm doing is better for the match overall. So they're gonna make a billion more tokens. Yeah, this just seems so good. I'm jealous. So that kind of makes me think that Pyromancer is actually pretty bad in this matchup, actually. Like, this guy just absolutely eats up Pyromancer. Pyromancer can't do anything. Comes down a turn earlier, I guess. That's for sure. All right. So let's go for Death Shadow. Okay. Well... I think that that's too good. 
And I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think that's too good to pass up. So let's just go ahead and ping ourselves with Gutshot and then play to Death Shadows. And we basically scoop to uh, Swords of Plowshares, which they have a million cards in hand and they're playing white. So the odds of that happening are pretty good. And we won't attack. This is a very thinking and in uh, intense matchup. I thought we were totally out of it last match, but as we showed. All right, so that's basically a scoop. I'm going to... I'm going to do one more draw because that just kills both of our death shadows. Um, I'm just going to do one more draw and then and then we'll see. So I guess maybe it would have been better to just hold on to the spells. Let's just go ahead and block one of the tokens. No point in blocking the Monastery Mentor. All right, so that's going to become big enough. And do they have a follow-up to kill us? Because we're about to take a lot of damage. So we're about to take 10. All right, and that's that's lethal. Okay. Good game. All right, so I think the Pyromancer is actually pretty bad. Um, On the play... I think we want to put the Buried Alive back in. And the one of the Thought Seizes as well. So we just have the Surgicals. They may have boarded out some Phoenixes. But I think it's probably better for us to go to go all in on them. There's also Ratchet Bomb. But I think the one Toxic Deluge is probably better. Your game has started. Alright, so we're on the play. And we have disruption and nothing else. Disruption and nothing else. I'm gonna mulligan this. Okay. Sure, we can keep this. Now, the question is, is it better to... I think it's better to play a land and pass and draw the Brainstorm, because they're probably going to disrupt us, and I'd rather have two guaranteed cantrips. So let's go ahead and do that. It'd be great if they don't, if they don't discard us. Yep, so they go... They go for Thoughtseize. And they're probably going to take Buried Alive. They don't. They take they take Ponder. Well, that is a great sign for us. Okay. So let's go ahead and pay one life for Watery Grave. Brainstorm. Yes. Okay. Throwback. Arclight Phoenix and Arclight Phoenix and okay if we throw back Gutshot then we can go land Dark Ritual Buried Alive with Days as backup okay do you have Surgical? because we have Days Three Phoenixes, turn two. Let's go. All right. What do you got, opponent? You got his beat? <laughs> Our opponent goes, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm hoping this deck to do. <laughs> Lotus Petal, sure. Interesting inclusion. So they're on like the half... They're like kind of on the Monastery Mentor plan too. That's like definitely one of their main win conditions as well. All right, so they sack Lotus Petal for blue and ponder. What else you got? Land, sure. Tap land, fetch land, whatever. Preordain, okay. GG. GG. Top deck. 
It was... I scried it. It wasn't a top deck. <laughs> I, I scried it there. But yeah, good, good match. Good match either way. Oh, I guess he meant... I guess he meant the... Dark Ritual, right. Okay. All right, another match, another opponent. And this time we actually are on the play. And we have a great hand. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and keep this. So we're going to go ahead and lead with Dark Ritual and then Buried Alive. And then we'll gut shot if that doesn't get disrupted. We unfortunately don't have Days as a backup. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, our opponent moles to six. So let's just go ahead and go Dark Ritual, Buried Alive. One, two, three. And the good thing about Gut Shot here is that it actually puts our opponent on a two turn clock rather than potentially a three turn clock. All right, yep, and there's nothing they can do against that. Let's see. It'll be pretty funny if they just drop like elephant grass or something. All right, that's a game. So they played a Verdant Catacomb. So that means that there's a few things they could be on. So they could be on Turbo Depths. They could be on their own version of some sort of shadow deck too. Now the interesting thing here is that they they played Verdant Catacombs and then conceded. That makes me think that they were trying to intentionally mislead us. Because they could have just conceded, but they played Verdant Catacombs. So I'm going to guess that that means that it's something that is like a bit more, like it's one of their one of fetch lands. So if that's the case, what do we want to do? So I think either way, I think if it's Death Shadow or it's Turbo Depths, we want to bring in the the, uh, the Diabolic Edicts. We can take out one Phoenix and let's take out Cabal Therapy just because we have no idea what, what they're on. And I'm going to go ahead and run it like that, just on just on my hunch. Has started. Okay, well, once again, we have... Another turn one Phoenix. We actually have turn one Phoenix with him to Turok, <laughs> which is, that's, that's a bit ridiculous. I Like, I, I, I feel dirty. I feel dirty doing this. I've drawn really well while, while recording too. So I've, I've played, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep this. So I'm posting every, every game that I record. I just want to point that out. I'm not, I'm not posting the ones that I win or lose or whatever. I am playing other matches. In between um, some of these, you know, like sometimes I'm just playing for fun. Um, but the sample size. All right. So they, they can go ahead and take Buried Alive and and kind of take us off here. <laughs> the fun's over, but we had fun while it was uh, while it was happening. So we probably are going to want to go. I don't know, probably Brainstorm now. Yeah, brainstorm with with days seems pretty good. So we'll just go ahead and pass here. So still don't know what our opponent's on. Basic swamp. All right, so it's turbo depths. It's some sort of dark depths variant. The fact that they have thought seas and and then the bayou too. All right, so let's just go ahead and end of turn watery grave. And brainstorm. And get buried alive. Cool. Yeah. So they took us off the turn one. That is so lucky. That is so lucky. But, you know, that's the kind of stuff that happens. Buried alive. You got surgical? Nope. There we go.
Man, that feels good. So what else can they do? I guess they they could have crop rotated for uh for a bajuka bog there too. Oh whoa 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 <laughs> whoa! I didn't realize what they discarded. They they that was not what I was expecting. I just I I totally missed what they discarded. They discarded Gristlebrand. What was that? <laughs> was it was it Reanimator? I don't know. <laughs> All right, another match, and once again we're on the play. And once again, we have turn one of Phoenix. I swear, I just finished that last match. I swear. This seems like I'm I'm pre-recording it. I'm obviously getting very lucky. Um, but yeah, I, I just finished that last match that you guys are gonna watch. So I've had three games in a row that I've had I've had Phoenixes with. Sure. Yep. Then gut shot you. I mean, it feels good to go on a streak like this, but it almost feels like I'm just cheating. So yeah, this is this is literally like like three minutes since the past match. Maybe like five. Okay. All right. Yeah. So they concede, and we have no idea what they're on. We have no idea what they're on. So since we have no idea what they're on. There isn't too much that I can do here. I'm just going to run it back as it is. All right, game two. We have a less good hand this time. I mean, if we were to draw into Buried Alive, then it would be amazing. But I don't think there's enough action. If one of these was a red land, I, I might consider keeping. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, and keep this. Ooh, him. Yeah, I'll keep him. All right, so what, what is our opponent on? Underground C. Inquisition. Okay. So that means Grixis control. Almost certainly. So let's go ahead and... Watery Grave Ponder. And... Let's... But I kind of want Gutshot. Let's assume that we're going to go with him to Turok next turn. If that's the case, I want Thoughtseize, Brainstorm, and then I'll draw Gutshot. The reason that I want Gutshot is because of Baleful Strix. I could daze Baleful Strix, but then I won't be able to him to Turok. So... I think I think it's better to have to have gut shot for this. Another inquisition, okay. Sure. Also kind of good that we we hid our brainstorm then cuz they probably would have taken that otherwise. Yeah, they take him. That seems correct. All right, so let's go ahead and let's play the land first and then brainstorm. And let's let's put back. What do we want to put back here? Let's put back Phoenix, and Thoughtseize. And I kind of want to play the Pyromancer next turn and draw that Thoughtseize. Pluto Delta Baleful Strix. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Sure, you can draw. All right, so let's draw Thoughtseize. And let's grab Blood Crypt. Play Young Pyromancer. And what else do we want? We can just pass with that for now. Pass with Gutshot up. And I kind of want to take one hit in case we draw a Death Shadow. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and hit Baleful Strix. Did, didn't want them to take that answer. 
Obviously my other cards are better, but I think that card's immediately better. Takes Brainstorm. Seems good. And passes. Alright, so let's see if Pyromancer can go the distance with double Thoughtseize, too. Tap the island first. Let's take Flusterstorm. Then let's take Force of Will. And let's swing for three. So they have just an island in hand. And they pass. Okay. Let's go ahead and swing with everything. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so they drew a land, and they have something else in their hand. Let's go ahead and... Just swing first and then play a land and pass. Yep. All right, opponent. Draw anything? I'm not going to crack the fetch land. Oh, that is something. Yep, they're probably going to play around days here. All right, so I'm going to daze this. And the reason is because I want them to pay... Let's see, so they play... Oh, uh, they didn't play a land yet this turn. Okay. I think either way. I'm going to daze this so that they have to pay and so that they lose a shuffle. Because they need to crack their fetch land in order to, to pay for that. They don't pay. And they just concede. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. 